contactless express check-in experiences. This is not just a contactless solution. This is a this is a change in the way check-in are going to happen in future. Cloud-based solutions for hotel guests. Our full technology team worked over time during pandemic from home and made the solution to be available to hotels as they are opening now. Newsex India Alis proudly recognizes Rahul Salgia of True for excellence in consumer design. Hello and welcome to Newsex Alis. Today I'm joined with Rahul Salgia. He is the co-founder of Digi Valley. A very warm welcome to Newsex Rahul. Thank you. Uh, Rahul, uh, we are connecting here today to talk about True. But first and foremost, I would want to know from you what is Digi Valley all about? Can you explain to our viewers more about it? So Digi Valley is uh, known more for uh, its uh, guest room solutions. Okay. We serve uh, some of the most iconic hotels in the world. Digi Valley today is installed in hotels like the Raffles in Singapore, Armani in Burj Khalifa in Dubai, uh, the W in London, Amanpuri. So we serve some of the most iconic hotels to offer the best guest room uh, experience that they want to offer to their to their guests. Uh, can you explain to us about True now? How does True work? So True is a, a is our new offering for uh, contactless uh, check-in. Okay. The way it works is that uh, when a guest has an upcoming reservation, he receives a SMS from the hotel saying that you have an upcoming reservation, and, the, and it has a personalized link. The moment the guest clicks the link, he gets the check-in process where he can scan his personal ID can put his in credit card details and that's all. He doesn't need to go to the front office to uh, give his card, take his credit card back, uh, you know, probably share anything with the front office, thereby keeping his himself and the front office executive safe. Also in this process, you have to appreciate that the guest is saving a lot of time. No yeah. guest want to, wants to wait in a queue or wait at the front desk to get a key. So we are this is not just a contact like solution. This is a this is a change in the way check in are going to happen in future. Uh, this seems like this is going to be the best solution, especially for hotels, especially after the pandemic, because we want uh, you know even if we get a vaccine, I think the fear will still continue in the minds of people, and they would prefer this contactless you know connection in any way. Uh, but the idea of through came during the time of the pandemic, or were you decided planning about it earlier? So yeah, so it's a very interesting question. So we, we had the technology to do uh, check-in uh, and which we were using mainly for luxury hotels to offer in-room personalized check-in. So when pandemic happened, we realized that there will be a new world after the pandemic. Yes. And we thought we should repurpose the technology that we have to produce something which will be uh, suitable for contactless check-in, avoid the a personal check-in, but also wanted to add in something that that will be that will make this whole solution usable even after the pandemic. So this is this is something that we designed during the pandemic. And then the, the whole thought was to democratize the technology. Today we offer most of our technology only to select few luxury hotels. Mm -hmm. But then we thought why not democratize this and make it available to every possible hotel. That's okay. how the whole technology was designed. Our full technology team worked over time during pandemic from home and made the solution to be available to hotels as they are opening now. Uh, this is at this moment only available to hotels. Are you planning to look at other industries also? Uh, through, will, through is specifically designed for hotels, but Digi Valley certainly is uh, getting into more verticals. We, we are now getting into healthcare, hospitals trying to bring in uh, patient room solutions. We are also trying to bring in solutions for senior living residential solution for senior living and service residences. You know, when you started Digi Valley, I'm sure it was a very different concept and idea. It must have taken people a lot of time. Now it's a huge thing. People talk about it. But you know, in the beginning, when you have a unique idea, people tend to be resistant about it. However, what, what sort of hardships did you face at that point in time when you never gave up? So it's, a, it's an interesting question. Again, what happens is that, you know, when you come up with an innovative idea and you try and take it to customers, Hmm. Everyone likes innovative ideas. Yes. But the next question they and then they ask is where is it installed? Who is using it? Hmm. So it's a very funny thing. They want most novel idea, but at the same time they want it to be proven. So hmm. this was one of our first challenge. The other challenge was uh, made in India tag. Uh, today we all Indians feel the sense of nationalism when we talk about make in India, but this was not the same thing back ten years ago. Also, the fact that we were trying to position a premium product. 
yes. to iconic hotels and india and premium products don't really go together normally you see luxury and premium products coming from europe or from us or from germany they are not necessarily associated with germany so we also had that let's say i would say baggage in those days of you know trying to position a premium product to luxury chain so we had all of these challenges but uh, when people had technology challenges and they approached us and they threw it as a challenge if you can fix this you have you have the job and when we were able to successfully deliver it that was probably the uh, turning point when people started believing that you know uh, a, a digital company like digital coming in from india could deliver such solutions as you mentioned you know now the outlook has completely changed especially with our prime minister talking about atmanirbhar bharat and we discuss this across board with all tech companies and not just technology but every sector who wants to be now you know have make in india make you know made by india put all your energies for products here uh, what is your outlook about that and where are you taking your brand ahead so i have a little different opinion here when it comes to technology and atmanirbhar bharat Okay. i would say while we have a 2 billion 200 billion dollar software industry which mm-hmm. we boast all about but i would say when it comes to uh, being an atmanirbhar or being a leader in product technology i would say we are not even here okay. there's a long way we have great amount of talent great amount of technology but we don't produce it for ourselves we act we are only doing outsourcing jobs we are actually working for other companies mm-hmm. so this 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 is the time when entrepreneurs in india have to realize that we have to build technology in india and build it as a, as world's best products and i would say this is just the beginning if people think in the right direction time will not be far when we can actually build great world class technology products also and then we would be then we then we can rightly call our, you know that we are atmanirbhar in those sense what do you what do you think we really lack in is it infrastructure is it investment is it uh, because ideas is not less in our country brains are not less what do you think we lack okay so technology entrepreneurship is uh, let's say quite a gamble quite a quite a task i would say the entrepreneurship is lacking okay. uh, especially amongst large groups uh, the other thing that i would say is that the uh, venture capitalist ecosystem or the investment ecosystem hmm. isn't as conducive as it is in let's say uh, the united states so i think that is also one thing that needs to come to india What is your next vision after through now? What are you thinking next? So as I said, we are uh, wanting to uh, offer some solutions for senior living and residential solutions. Senior living will be uh, on a priority. We believe uh, uh, the trend to move to uh, communities focused on uh, later lifers is is on rise, uh, not only in the Western world but also in India and some of the other markets also. And technology will play a very important role. in making life comfortable for these later lifers and uh, uh, we are uh, already uh, uh, building these products already signed some contracts with some interesting projects in london and some of the other markets where we will be using technology to um, monitor their goals hmm. uh, like uh, walking steps like uh, wa- uh, water consumption uh, like uh, Uh, their health targets and how are they uh, doing uh, with them we are also working on a very innovative solution to technology to uh, predict uh, what would be the impact of aging on people so we are do- doing a lot of innovative solutions around senior living uh, all your solutions are usually centered to a particular sector so you're going to for you know you were into hospitality now you wanted to go towards a healthcare sector are you trying to bring solutions so that people to use by themselves are you looking at that also so people can have you know your solutions on their mobile phones or something like that creating some tech like that for them so all our residential solutions are going to be self use of course okay. there has to be a, there has to be someone who's service at the other end receiving your request but mm-hmm. most of all our residential solutions will always be like an app but targeted but we are but as you understand the residential solution is the residential market is very large and mm-hmm. very diverse we are trying to focus on few markets and few services where we can make it a successful model and then grow it towards larger community rahul uh, my last question to you would be the most i think most co- commonly asked but i need to know from you you know you made a successful business something which is 10 years old and in a sector which people might not have believed in you How, what is your suggestion to these new age entrepreneurs and especially to people who w- dream big but you know quit quick, very quickly okay so one is that you know i would uh, one of the things i would say is that don't go for valuation don't run for valuation 
investors and valuation will come once you have a successful uh, business once you have customers believing in you everything will happen so this is a little reverse trend of what's happening around us but i think that's the success, that's the mantra to success thank you rahul thank you so much and uh, thanks a lot for speaking to newsx and yes out there you have a mantra for success so and a very important one coming from someone who has a lot of experience thanks thank so you much. thank you for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon